Hey guys, I just got Reese down for her afternoon nap and I decided to sit down and shoot my four to eight month baby favorites video. I did a zero to three month baby favorites video and you guys seem to like that. I will be sure to link it in the description box below. Reese is nine months old now and man, I feel like these past few months have really flown by. Like those first few months felt like long and short at the same time, if you know what I mean, because I feel like I was so like sleep deprived but also she grew so fast and then these last few months i feel like every time i blinked i had to take a new photo of her on her month blanket so yeah these have really just flown by but i've been thinking about this and what i wanted to recommend and i started a little list on my phone and i don't know i just had fun thinking through all these favorite things because we used them all so much and she loved them so much I don't know it's just kind of fun this four to eight month age is just so exciting and sweet i think because you can tell when they love something and i don't know it just makes you love it too so i want to jump into her jumperoo we got this right when she was about four months old my parents gave it to her for christmas and she loved it we had to put a little pillow in under it so that her feet could reach the ground and she would jump all day if we let her. She thought she was just such a big girl and she liked being upright and being able to stand in it. She liked to jump in it. She liked to play with the toys. She liked the music it made. This was just an absolute favorite. She always had the biggest smile on when she was in it and she just loved it and so we loved it. We placed it in front of a mirror in our living room, which is the fun tip, so we could turn her so she was facing herself in the mirror, which was also a lot of fun. Now, rattles. I would say around four or five months, she started loving rattles and it was so cute. She would hold them and just shake them like this at first and then she started shaking them like this and she just loved the noise they made. She would have a big smile when she did it and it was really funny because her rattles were definitely her favorite toy but sometimes she would pick up toys that didn't rattle and try shaking them and then kind of make a, a frowny face. So you could tell that she really loved her rattly toys, toys that made noise, but especially just like the actual rattles that we got her, those were definitely favorites. Now her bumbo seats. Bumbo seats are so fun. They set up your baby from when they're really small. Like you can use them as soon as they're four months. And I think what's special about a bumbo seat, it has a really high back. So that helps even a pretty young baby be able to sit up. And we would carry the bumbo around the house and sit her in it. And she loved it. She felt so big in it, like she was the biggest girl. And it has a strap so you can strap them in it so you can feel a little safer. And sometimes we'd give her a rattle to play with. Um, we'd sit it next to us, you know, at dinner or if I were cooking, we'd put her in the bumbo seats. And it was just a really good place to put her. Now her bouncer, we did keep using until maybe like six months when she started sitting independently, but she still liked her bouncer till probably about six months and we did use it pretty regularly until about six months and I would just carry it around the house, put her in it, strap her in, and it was just kind of a fun place for her to sit and watch me maybe empty the dishwasher or something or what, you know, whatever it happened to be, that was just like her seat and she knew that. For bedtime, we used the Halo sleep sacks and I really love them. I feel like the Halo sleep sacks are just really high quality. You're probably gonna stop swaddling around four months if you haven't already. And then I would definitely recommend a sleep sack versus putting them in their bed in just jammies. Cause I think it is just warm and cozy and maybe helps them sleep. And we really liked the Halo brand. So your baby is going to start eating in this phase most likely probably between four and six months i think that's generally the recommendation when to start introducing it but i mean some parents wait longer you do you but when you are ready to start feeding your baby i would recommend getting a high chair and i actually recommend not getting the high chair we got our high chair had um, a cloth like padded covering which looked really comfy but was super hard to clean especially with those purees and Reese would just take the purees or the baby cereal or whatever it was and just like cake it all over her face, the high chair herself, everything. And when that got caked on that fabric-y stuff, oh, it was so hard to clean. And I mean, you can put it in the washing machine and stuff, but you can't do that three times a day, you know? And so I ended up like mainly putting a towel over it and then switching the towel out every other day or so. But do yourself a favor and get one with a hard back even though it looks less comfortable 
it will be so much easier to clean and I think babies do fine in them. A lot of people I know really like that Ikea high chair that's only like, what is it? I don't know exactly, but like 20 or $25, which is ridiculous and it just has a hard back and it's really cute. So yeah, maybe don't go for one with that padded fabric stuff. You're also gonna wanna have some bibs that have like a little collection pouch on the bottom of them because you will save yourself so much money in food. Oh my goodness. After Reese clears her high chair, I go in that pouch and just scoop up, you know, a whole handful of food and put it right back on the high chair and it's like seconds. Babies aren't the best at feeding themselves right away and so much of what they try to put in their mouth, they drop or get like what they put in their mouth falls out. I don't know totally how they do it, but I would say like 80, 90% of what I put on her tray ends up in that pouch and then I scoop it up, give it to her again, and we start over. Reese ended up really liking her fruit feeder. So what a fruit feeder is, it kind of looks like a giant pacifier with little holes and you can put normal fruit or frozen fruit or whatever you want inside of it and they just kind of chew on it. And I tried to give it to her at first at four months and she wasn't very interested. And then I tried again a couple months later. I usually gave it to her in the high chair with a bib on because otherwise it could get really messy. But I know some people um, just put fruit in it and let their baby just kind of chew it throughout the day. It can be helpful with teething if you put cold fruit in it. I actually did one time or a couple times um, put an ice cube in it and let her just chew on that and she actually loved it. So it's just kind of something fun to have. She really liked teething crackers and teething crackers are usually made of rice, I think, and maybe they're a little bit flavored and they dissolve in the baby's mouth and they're really crunchy and they are easy to hold for the baby. And that's just something that she really enjoyed um, kind of early. And then now, especially now that she has teeth, she loves to hear that crunch and just to chew on it. I actually will sometimes spread like a little peanut butter on one of the baby teething crackers. And she really likes that. And it's a nice way to get some protein in. I think most experts say to start giving babies water around when you give them food. It can help them not be constipated, um, do whatever your doctor says. But we really liked the Nook training cups. They have a silicone top, so it kind of is similar to a bottle, but it's not exactly the same as a bottle. It is a sippy cup, so it kind of helps with that transition a little bit. And she loves her sippy cup. I think she feels like such a big girl when she's holding it. She actually loves to drink water, which I was kind of surprised at. And I think she also just like really loves to chew on that silicone top, which it's pretty sturdy and you can wash it in the dishwasher and everything. I know a lot of people try to start with like straw sippy cups, but Reese didn't take to that right away. And she really liked this training cup. One of her favorite teethers was this pineapple teether and I think she liked it so much because it was really easy for her to grab and then it had a clear handle where she could chew on. For a couple weeks she was just constantly obsessed with this pineapple teether. It was the greatest thing and what I would do sometimes in the car is I would put like a pacifier clip around the teether and then she would chew it in the car and it was just kind of a fun way for her to entertain herself. Her other favorite teether was this banana toothbrush teether and I think this is a lot of babies favorite because it had super good reviews on Amazon and you can actually use it as a toothbrush but I think a lot of babies use it as just like a teether toy. I think Reese just loved how the like bristly part just felt on her gums and she still loves this. She chews it all the time and same thing I'll even use like a pacifier clip and sometimes like hook it on her car seat so that she can have that in the car. We may use it as her actual toothbrush one of these days. We have this like little thing that like sticks on one of our fingers that the dentist gave us that we're using as her toothbrush right now but this banana one might end up being a toothbrush too. For a baby carrier, I would definitely recommend one with a hip seat. So a hip seat is like a sturdy seat that buckles around your waist and then you put the carrier on like normal and that, that seat takes a lot of the pressure off your back because your baby's getting bigger and so you can get a backache from wearing them all the time. And Reese actually did not like being worn when she was a newborn, but was like fine with it at like four months and above, which was awesome if I needed to get things done. But I get a sore back really easily. So I found that the carriers with the hip seat made such a difference. So I would totally recommend, I really like the Mama Pod brand because it also comes with like a support pole. So if you are like taking a hike or, you know, going somewhere, you can also like take that pole out of the pouch and then use that and just stand there and that takes a ton of pressure off your back. So just a tip, as your baby gets bigger, you might want one of those hip seats. Now you're gonna start needing a normal stroller. For the longest time, 
probably past three months. I just used the car seat stroller system. So I pop the car seat out and put the car seat on the stroller base and just go like that, which I think is what a lot of people do when their baby's really little. Around four months, they really want out of their car seats. They want to be maybe a little more upright. You just need another option. So I would definitely get one where they can sit kind of upright, but still angled back a little in case they can't sit up, but you know, by themselves. And then also get one that has both shoulder and waist straps so that they can't like try to flip out of it or anything. I'd say you definitely need to have some bandanas if you don't already. I think they're so much cuter than drool bibs. If your baby still spits up like mine, they're really helpful in not making you change outfits all the time. And then once your baby starts teething, they're going to drool a lot. And so same thing. Then you don't have to always change their outfit if their shirt gets wet. And I just think bandanas are just a lot cuter than bibs. They don't like kind of ruin the baby's outfit. I know that sounds silly to say, but it's true. I mean, you have really cute outfits for your babies and a bandana, I feel like, um, makes their outfit maybe just a even a little cuter. Okay, that is it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any favorites that I missed, please put them in the comments. I would love to hear your ideas. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video.